Hey y'all, welcome to What Chelsea Eats. Today, I want to talk to you about unforgiveness. Unforgiveness pointing to these fibroids. <laughs> Ooh wee, unforgiveness. A lot of us um, hold on to unforgiveness because of a lot of different reasons, but I'm gonna talk to you about a couple. One, we have unforgiveness because we um, think that we're justified in it because the person that hurt us did something so bad to us that it's like, Ugh, I can't forgive that person. The second reason is that people are holding on to unforgiveness and they don't even realize that what they're doing is holding on to unforgiveness. That was me in a lot of areas. It's sneaky because it'll sneak up on you and make you feel like you have everything your heart is clean and that there's you're not holding on to anything the way you know if you're holding on to unforgiveness towards somebody is if you think about the the thing that the person did and you actually are rehearsing it in your mind and you are thinking like what you would do or say differently if you had the opportunity if you if any negative emotions come up in your heart when you think about or talk to that person then you know you've got something that you need to get rid of in your heart, okay? The other part of unforgiveness is where people are holding on to it and they'll say, oh, I forgave that person. You might've said the prayer once or twice or maybe five times or 10 times. I don't know, you forgive that person. You said you forgive that person, but yet you still got that same old thing in your heart every time you think about them is still there that pain is still there it means that forgiveness wound that you got is still not healed so therefore it keeps triggering you to go back and forth into forgiveness and unforgiveness forgiveness and unforgiveness so i never really hear people talk about the third one very often but i want to say also there are many other reasons i could give but i just wanted to focus on these three so you could get the gist of what i'm saying here but while you have this stuff festering in your life when you are when you have a sickness or a disease or an issue and it's connected to this unforgiveness then the sickness or disease is not going away until you get rid of these unforgiveness situations in your in your heart so there have been times when um, I have told people like they will join my 90 day program which my 90 day program has been replaced by um, the Fibroid Detox Collective. There's information down in the description box below this video. But when I get people who do everything perfectly in their in their life to get rid of these fibroids, you, and then nothing happens, nothing changes, like they're not getting any results, nothing's changing, they're still bleeding heavy, they're still, you know, the fibroid, look, they still look pregnant, all that stuff. And nothing's changing and they really are doing what i'm teaching them to do and nothing's changed i think then that you really need to start going deeper and one of the things you need to start going deeper in is the forgiveness aspect now there's a whole spiritual component behind fibroids and that's not the purpose of this video but um forgiveness is one of the key things that keeps people bound up with fibroids so you can do everything perfectly with your diet and your lifestyle and all that good stuff but if you're holding on to unforgiveness in your heart it can keep you from getting well so i just want to encourage you to ask the lord to help you to get this unforgiveness out of your heart so one you have to make a decision that you're going to forgive regardless of what that person did and you forgiving does not let that person off the hook it doesn't um, cause them to get away with anything <laughs> like it doesn't cause that to happen what it does is it helps you you to get off the hook it helps you to get free from the things that you want to get free from it helps you to transform your life when you let go of unforgiveness so say for example you you've prayed those prayers you've been like lord i forgive this person and you're sincere you're actually starting to pray for them but for whatever reason it still hurts in your heart like there's like this stronghold that is in your heart that keeps gravid grabbing you towards unforgiveness toward that person then it's time to start trying time to time to pray for the lord to heal that place 
in your heart where that person hurt you. Ask God to come and heal it. Tell, ask him to go deep into that wounded place where you have tried to forgive and you, you do it by faith all the time. But for whatever reason, the wound is still there. Then that's when you need God to help you. And it could be um, a generational thing, like a generational um, unforgiveness yoke that is tied around your neck because of past generations holding on to unforgiveness. And like, you're not just dealing with your unforgiveness, you're dealing with your, you know, your mama, your grandpa, father, your daddy, your, you know, whoever is back there who was holding on to unforgiveness. You're holding on to their stuff because it had become a generational thing. And so sometimes we, we have to break agreement with that stuff so that we can be free. So I just wanted to offer that to you. If you've done everything you know to do and things are still not changing, examine, ask the Lord to examine your heart to see if there is any unforgiveness in your heart that is keeping you bound up with fibroids. That's all I want to say about that. So Father, in Jesus' name, I just ask you right now that you would come and um, help your daughters to forgive. Lord, we, we forgive anyone who has done anything to us that has got us in this position with these fibroids. Lord, we forgive anything. Lord, we just ask you to search our heart, help us cleanse us from all unrighteousness of unforgiveness, for unforgiveness, unforgiveness. Lord, we ask you to cleanse us. We break agreement with the spirit of unforgiveness now in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we just thank you and praise you that you are healing the place in our hearts where we were wounded because of things that people have done. Lord, forgive us for holding on to unforgiveness. And we just thank you and praise you that you're healing us up now in the name of Jesus. All right, ladies. If you liked this video, please share it with a friend. Don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, y'all, I'll lots of love and I'll talk to y'all soon. Take care.